I think that the dunk contest is a, is a it's a creativity thing and more or less instincts for me actually. So I don't like to practice. I just like to go out and do and let creativity take over. Um, you know, when I I tend to uh, when, whenever I practice something or plan something, I tend to mess it up. And um, so I'd rather just let it let creativity take over and instinct. And injured last year, he's back this year to defend a, a, a previous championship of 1985. The human highlights film. This, of course, is Dominique Wilkins. Well, this is Rick Barry's man, and uh, he is like a defending heavyweight champion. He wants to show that he can do it, and he's got the best variety, really. He has the power to go along with it. He is a tremendous dunker. And he says this year he is on a mission for the season, for the slam dunk. Well, they're on their feet in Chicago for this man, their man, the defending champion, Michael Jordan. Uh, this is what the judges are gonna have to deal with this afternoon. Much like Spud Webb when he was in Dallas, everybody expects a 10 from Michael Jordan. And that's why Bob Neal picked him, because he always picks the home crowd favorite. <laughs> Here is the defending champion, Michael Jordan. Well, the judges, they got a lot of pressure on them. They got to come through with big scores for Jordan. Of course, Jordan wants to put some pressure on everybody by trying to do something special right out of the gate. Oh, you call that special. Everybody in the stands flashing a 10. They had him up before he got there. <laughs> There's a nine. <laughs> All right, we go back and we'll take a look. And Jordan is saying, I got to put some pressure on. And, you know, again, you can't ever tell what he's going to do. He looked like he might have done a 360 or something, turned inside out, Michael kicks his legs out, and the crowd responds. And only a 47. <laughs> the crowd not real happy with that. I'd tell you what, I couldn't do that one in my dreams. Michael Jordan said that he hoped to get to the finals with a dunk that was not as spectacular as the one he wanted to pull out then. So he did get a 47. He is now the leader, number two out of the five who have dunked so far. With 41. So 41's the number here that Dominique needs to better in order to advance to the semifinal rounds. Dominique Wilkins from the Atlanta Hawks, the 1985 champion, 6'7", 200 pounds. Well, that'll draw a high score. I can tell you that right now. Now, we saw a reverse two-hander before, Steve, early in the competition, but not with the flair that Dominique just put on that or with the power. And the quickness. He exploded into that basket right down there. You'll take a look. Now, watch. I think what he does is really give it some juice. He cradles the ball, then spreads his legs out and really throws it down. That's a good pop for Wilkins. And a 49 for Dominique Wilkins to put him in first place. So it's Wilkins with 49, Jordan 47, Drexler 44, Anderson 42. Dominique Wilkins, he first dunked when he was a five foot eight inch ninth grader. Here comes Michael Jordan. Jordan had a 47 on his first dunk. Needs 41 points on this to be first in this first round. He'll get more than 41. Now, see, again, that was very similar to the Dominique dunk. But again, the legs are out. He double clutches the ball. I mean, things that catch the eye of the judges. Watch it again. Here he takes off. Now, watch. The legs are out in the air. He pulls them up. He spreads them out. Pulls it from down low, up high for the two-hand dunk. That is, that's an appealing dunk. And kind of leans his head out of the way to give the illusion. I'm really up there. Watch. See, look at And he gets his head out of the way and throws it over the top. And the crowd has booed the 47 <laughs> Jordan was awarded. He has two 47s for 94 points. Remember, there are seven competitors. Ron Harper had to drop out today because of a foot injury. The number to beat is 79 for Wilkins to advance. Oh, now that's a 360 with just a little authority, folks. And he does thing, it so effortlessly, Steve. That's what I was going to say. He does it so easy. You know, he just kind of walks his way in and then suddenly in Chicago explodes. Stadium the slam dunk championship semifinalist now will be Dominique Wilkins Michael Jordan Clyde Drexler and Otis Smith from the Warriors now in this round three dunks for each competitor well Jordan got out of the gate last time with something special and he wants to do the same as we start this round Uh oh he's measuring off the free throw line Jordan once said 
He thinks the perfect dunk would be a 360 from the free throw line. Okay, it is T minus 10 and counting to liftoff. <laughs> oh, they're on their feet at the stadium already. This is reminiscent of the ABA dunking championship and Julius Irving many years ago. Mission control ready for launch. <laughs> brought Dominique to his feet. <laughs> and Jordan says he likes to dribble the ball when he does a dunk as opposed to just running with it because he thinks that's really part of the rhythm and part of the game and he should do that. And a 50 for Michael Jordan on his first dunk of the semifinal round. Well, Jordan just taking his time and it appears, and I think this is what helps him, he accelerates right at the end, just misses behind the line, but still, that's tough to beat. There you see him coming at you as gets ready for launch. The plant, the tongue out, the flare with the legs and the palm, and throw it through. Very nice, Michael. Little clutch with the right arm as he goes down the first 50 that's been awarded today. And next comes Otis Smith, the 6'5 guard forward from Golden State. On All-Star Saturday, along with Rick Barry, Steve Jones, this is Bob Neal. Oh, mercy. He didn't go anywhere but from 15 feet in, but it seemed to be just as impressive, again, because he brought it down real low and then just powered it home. He has so much power. Now, just look at this explosiveness as he takes off right in front of him, the complete 360 wheeler dealer through for a 49. So it's been Jordan with a 50. Wilkins with a 49, Drexler with a 45. There are three dunks in this semifinal round. You think the judges might be thinking they might not be able to get out of here if Jordan doesn't <laughs> win this thing. That was a tremendous effort by Dominique Wilkins. Why do you think I picked Michael Jordan earlier? <laughs> I, I grew up not far from Chicago Stadium. you got to call them their way. 49 for Dominique Wilkins. He's not real happy with that. He would like, of course, to have had a 50. He said he's on a mission to prove he's among the elite of the NBA. I would agree. He, I don't think he needs a mission. I'd like to know who <laughs> didn't give him a 10 on that one, Dominique. That's what I'd like to know. Now, Michael Jordan with a second of his three dunks in the semifinals. It's nothing new, but again, it's spectacular, and it's front of the home crowd. Well, that's that's what I call the uh, the Chinese Superman dunk, because he kind of flies a little sideways there. He got a little slant to the shot. There he goes. Now he leans in, fires it through with the extension of the arm, and he only got a 48. So obviously the judges are pretty tough this year. They're tough and relatively consistent thus far. Compared to his 50, that might be a 48. That sounds pretty good. Well, when you look at it again, and this is the one that got everybody do stuff a year ago, it looks just as good and looks like a 50 to me. It sure does, Steve. <laughs> done. Now, that's the one he calls the kiss the rim because he takes his face right up to the rim, ducks it under, and then windmills. He said previous to this that he was going to add a twist to that dunk for the competition today. Let's see if he advances. He was disappointed, and the judge has given him a 49 in his first dunk. Here's a 360. Oh, what a great shot from the lunar cam, too. That's right, that camera right above the rim. Well, the heat is on, Rick, with that one. The judges are going to have to respond with their good scores. We look at the, the Luma cam up top, and that ought to give us a real good view of just how Dominique tough Wilkins and Slaughter. powerful Dominique Wilkins is. 47. Oh, he got a 47. He's not going to be happy with that score 49 the first 47 on this one that's i don't know i disagree well now i'll tell you see he put a little flare after he put the dunk through but when he went up he makes the spin move goes up nice and straight holds it on his hair didn't do anything spectacular with the arms he didn't put as much flare as he normally does into his dunk steve so i would think that score was more indicative of what he had performed as opposed to the last one which he deserved the 50 on well so that's going to put him into the championship round with jordan they get one more dunk. Well, he's got to make sure he just makes the next one. I think the other uh, competitors have basically almost eliminated themselves. Unless Dominique were to miss two of them, uh, he should go in. Same with Michael. Jordan has 98 points. Wilkins, 96. Drexler, 87. Smith, 67. Virtually eliminated. Oh, and uh -oh. there's a miss, but Jordan will get a chance to replace it. But he has got to be careful now because he must make the dunk. Otherwise, the maximum he gets is 25, and that could be costly. That could make the situation resulting in one of the other players to sneak past him. 
this might open the door for Drexler. I think Smith would have to come up with something awful powerful. That may have closed the door. But it was the semifinal round. They got three dunks each. That was the same dunk he had just missed, and uh, he made a slight adjustment, and you get a look high above. Now you saw him throw his arm down in there. He was making sure he didn't miss that one. He got, he watched the right hand now. Up high, his hand is there. He ducks out of the way. Now watch him throw it down in through. Now I tell you, I think 47 is a tough score. That was a very impressive dunk. I think the judges might be affected by the oh, fact he missed, but they're not supposed to be. And 145 is his total for the three dunks. He had his whole arm in there, Rick. He did. He, had, he definitely had to duck his head out of the way of the rim. And that's the twist he was talking about putting on that kiss the rim. In other words, Wilkins take his head has 96 coming into this, his third dunk of the semifinal round. Needs a 49 to tie Jordan. Started in front and finished on the other side, and we'll see how the judges like it, if that's enough to push him past Drexler. I think he was just making sure that he got a good enough score to make it into the finals. Uh, he really was in a good position. Here you see him bring it up. And again, the double clutch down, back up, and over and through. And this is, again, the flare that he has. As he goes up, he's high, all the way back down on the clutch move, past the basket, and then brings it back to the two-hander over the head. Not your routine two-hand over the hand dunk Michael shot. A little more flare. He does get a 47 to give him 143 for the semifinal round. So the two finalists will be previous champions, the defending champion Michael Jordan with 145 points in the semifinal round, and Dominique Wilkins with 143 points in the semifinals. And this is what the crowd's been waiting for. The championship round, there'll be a coin flip to determine who goes first. I think I'll change my pick. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> well, at least my pick is still in there. So Michael Jordan and Dominique Wilkins. This could be good. I wonder if they've saved anything now, I'm for the championship round. Well, Bob, I think that if Michael's, I mean, if Dominique's going to have a chance to beat Michael, he's going to have to get some kind of a running, floating type of a shot as opposed to just a strict power move. Here's the slam dunk championship. Michael Jordan, Dominique Wilkins. And I ask you fellas uh, if you thought uh, Jordan should let him go first or not. Well, I think that uh, Jordan probably did the right thing. He's going to put the pressure on Wilkins. And Dominique is going to give a little running start to this one. Not much, though. <laughs> From high above the rim. High above the rim. Well out in front. I think that that's the key. As well as the height, how far out in front he caught it when he's able to hammer it home. And again, he makes it look like it's routine. But watch, look how far away he is. That's a great start for Dominique. And look, still going up when he, he caught it. Right, and he stayed up for so long, took off from just inside the bottom of that circle, and was able to throw it through with authority as he tossed it up from the top of the key. We'll watch one more time. There he is from the top of the key. The perfect toss, the perfect timing. And look, at he stay up, up, and throws it through with power. And the perfect score of 50 on that dunk from Dominique Wilkins, now the defending champion. Well, now Jordan does have his first taste of pressure in the slam dunk competition. <laughs> I'm predicting a 50 on that. Be hard not to give him 50 on that one, Steve. That was impressive. That time he did the two-hander double clutch as he did look like the kiss the rim type of dunk he done before. He got a 50. Well, we're still even as Jordan goes up and takes it way down and then hammers it home over the top. And you'll see from way up high just how difficult it is. And we'll see the Dominique Wilkins reaction. He looks like a heavyweight fighter who's just taken a roundhouse right, and now he's going to set to throw another one. So that's the second 50 of the day for Michael Jordan, but remember, the, the scores from previous rounds don't advance. This is the championship, Dominique Wilkins and Michael Jordan. Like that the floor. Like uh, 45 <laughs> being shot someplace, that one exploded at the bottom of the net. And that even has the Chicago fans humming because the power that Dominique has. Dominique he has more score. power than any dunker that I've seen play this game with the creativity also going along with it. Here he comes up in the air. Look at the legs. Look at the arms. The windmill and power. He almost lost it. 
Let's check the judges out after he hit that one. Ooh, they were impressed enough to give him a 50, his second 50 in the three dunk championship competition. There is a dunk off in case there's a tie, a sudden dunk. Yeah, you know what he's telling Greg Anderson? Yeah, that, that, that'll that get some heat on him now. We gotta, we're going to see what the judges will do now. Jordan for his second. Out of 50 on the first. Oh, look what's going through his mind. He said earlier, sometimes he doesn't decide until he's in the air. Looked like a figure eight with the double clutch. This is much like a heavyweight championship crowd, you know, and they are trading big heavy right punches. Jordan took a long time to think about this, knowing he had to get the judges' attention. 47. A 47 was awarded on that dunk. Oh, that is some great creativity, and you notice he's going with the two-hander, Steve, to get a little more power as we watch the reaction of Dominique Wilkins as Michael went in for the dunk, and he just waits to see what the score is. There's another look at that dunk. Now watch when he takes off. Look at the way he moves the ball from the right down low to the left, two hands, and throws it through with authority. These judges are going to need the National Guard to get out of Chicago Stadium. Yeah, it's a hostile, ugly crowd now. <laughs> well, Dominique only needs to come up with a welcome needs to come up with a great dunk here if he gets a 49 or a 48. 49 he can't lose or 40 48. Guarantee you he will not get 50 on this dunk. Guarantee you. A two-handed windmill, and the judges are going through it. Their entire lives are flashing in front of their eyes. 47, Michael gets a 50, and it's a dunk off. <laughs> well, we, watch, we watch Dominique Wilkins come in and again with a power and authority low with two hands. And the judges have awarded Dominique Wilkins a 45. That's incredible. <laughs> Could we call it a make good? I mean, that's a two-hand windmill with authority from the sideline. Let's watch this one again. Here he comes, takes off, two hands up, down, around, and through with two hands. Now for Michael Jordan. Here's the story. Wilkins finishes with 145. Michael Jordan needs a 48 to tie, a 49 to win. Hey, you don't think the crowd has some influence on the judges on that last dunk? <laughs> Well, they're on their feet here at Chicago Stadium. Here's another guy that relishes the challenge and pressure. But again, creativity and imagination is the key. Plus, he's got to make the dunk. He needs a 48 to tie, a 49 to win. The defending slam dunk champion, Michael Jordan, if he were to win this, he'd be the only two-time winner in the four-year slam dunk competition. Larry Nance won it. Dominique, Spud Webb, Jordan, and Michael is backing all the way to the middle of the backcourt. Now he's going to the baseline. If he could somehow do some sort of spin on the way to the hoop, Rick, I think that would almost ensure it for him coming this far away. All you need to do is make it from the free throw line like he did before, and he'll win. get a replacement he does get a replacement now let's see if the miss influences the judges even if he pulls it off because he took off a little further inside his legs may be getting a bit tired he's had to do a lot of jumping here this afternoon needs a 48 to tie Dominique Wilkins a 49 would win for the second year in a row The fans are all on their feet, or most of them are anyway. Now, the only way that he's going to lose this competition is if he misses this dunk. Well, the crowd lets you know what they think of it. Now, we will wait for the judges. A 48 time. 49 wins. Michael Jordan score 50. They gave him a 50. They gave Jordan a 50. He defends his championship. And he
he took off further inside than he did the last time, but it's still a spectacular dunk and certainly deserving of the high score that he received, Steve. But Dominique Wilkins got the short end of a very impressive dunk. Consistent judging all day until the last two dunks prior to this, the 47 and the 45. A note was passed down to the judges. <laughs> <laughs> this is Chicago. <laughs> the uh, home fan advantage, I think, worked in favor. There's Dominique watching that last dunk. Well, it's like figure skating or any kind of gymnastics, any kind of sports where judging comes into play. There are going to be those who believe that Dominique Wilkins had the most spectacular performance to them. Smiling Michael Jordan, who's just, he defended the 1987 championship title he held by defeating My, uh, Dominique Wilkins in the championship round, and the fans loved it here at Chicago Stadium, but there are going to be arguments all day long. Jordan on the day had 350s, 148, and 447s. Now, they're not cumulative scores, but he had a great day dunking the basketball. Back to All-Star Saturday. It has been a dramatic afternoon. Michael Jordan adding to it the finals of a slam dunk championship sponsored by Gatorade. He had fresh... Yeah, he put a lot of pressure on me, and um, I didn't know exactly what to do. I mean, yeah, 50s are hard to come by, and, and you have to do something unique, actually, to get a 50. And, uh, yeah, I guess I didn't do as unique as he did, and, and I got a 47 after his 50. What about his 45? Do you think that maybe he deserved more? What would you have given him? I would have probably gave him close to a 50, but uh, judging is, is uh, so tough. Because you you got to look at the standards of dunks and measure what is the 50 and what is the 45 and that type of a thing. And I thought he had higher than a 45. And when he did get a 45, then I had a chance at least. The home crowd advantage definitely in your favor. I saw you walk around, look up in the stands. You looked at our announcers. What were you thinking? I, mean, I was searching, trying to find something, trying to find something to, to give me a, an idea of what to do. I didn't know what to do. And then all of a sudden. I found the guy who started it all. Dr. J was sitting over there. He was looking at me, and he pointed, like going back go to the, and do the free throw line. And uh, I went back, and I did it. First time, uh, I was kind of scared at first, I didn't, because I, I, I was putting so much energy into it. And then the second time, I just put so much energy into it. And my, my facial expressions, I think, told the story. Well, it sounds like you lost your voice, but obviously you didn't lose your legs. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Michael Jordan for the second year in a row, winning the Gatorade Slam Dunk Championships. We'll be back to...